Hello there, my name is Ismaus and today I want to talk about eCycles Render Engine which is a faster version of Cycles Render Engine. Basically, it can be as fast as 10 times, faster than Cycles as much as 10 times depending on what you're rendering and uh, if you go to the link in the description you can get the add-on yourself or you can read through the notes here and you can see from the render time benchmarks you can see that uh, it is not only faster than cycles it is also faster than cycles x which is basically a faster ver a newer version of cycles it was created for the 10 year anniversary of cycles and uh, i think it's supposed to come out in blender 2.3 uh, sorry in blender 3 not 2.3 uh, so you can see here in the test benchmarks that it's faster than cycles cycles x and also cycles e cycles rtx because there are multiple versions of uh, these add-ons uh, of this add-on there is e cycles 7 there is uh, cycles rtx and uh, which is faster than cycles x and cycles uh, this graph can be a bit confusing because uh, the taller graphs is uh, cycles and uh, then cycles x is this graph but uh, this is a time graph uh, so you you're going from a few seconds uh, to multiple seconds so here I, you can see that cycles is taking more time to render than cycles x uh, which is also taking more time to render than uh, e cycles and uh, which is also taking more time to render than e cycles version 7 and uh, these are the types of scene uh, benchmarks and uh, they have tried this in uh, this is uh, the bmw uh, benchmark and then the one xx i'm not sure what that is but uh, uh, there is also the conf chocofa i'm not sure what that, what that is but uh, i'm not i'm very sure about this one here but uh, anyway so uh, it can speed up your render times to as much as uh, seven or three times faster again again depending on uh, the type of scene you're trying to render uh, and uh, just to give you a quick demo i'm just going to let the developer of the add-on here i uh, just talk about the add-on a bit here because uh, i think he was rendering uh, a scene he rendered this scene here let me just go to the part where he started he starts to render let me let me just play for you this part uh, for a second seen from the motion in three seconds so in this tutorial I'm going to show how to use the cycles with the original file yeah so right now he's uh, he he was trying to render this scene uh, and uh, it took about three seconds so let me, let me show you the original the render part but well, I think that's why it is more interesting you can see this is rendering in real time you can even see he's not trying to speed up this scene uh, you can see the cursor is moving in real time so that's how fast uh, e-cycles is if you're trying to render a scene like this with cycles it'll take you at least uh, a minute or two depending on what render engine what uh setup you have but uh, this is taking uh, a lit it's taking just three seconds to render and uh, after you render out a scene uh, the first time it will compile everything and uh, set up everything and reuse that data uh changing the angle will not will not lead it into recalculating the the entire scene again so it will take it will be even faster than before if if it took three seconds before and you re render the same scene without changing anything in within the scene uh, then it's going to be faster than other three the previous render times so let me just let him talk for a bit here it's taking the three seconds you have seen on the YouTube channel. Now you can select any point of view. For this, I'm going to lock the camera to the view. And you can re-render in three seconds again, as much point of views from your scene as you wish. So you can see how fast that is. Uh, rendering this kind of scene can take you quite some time. It can take you even five minutes or ten, uh, depending uh, again on your setup. But uh, yeah, uh, again, if you want to get the add-on itself, uh, you can find the link in the description. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. See you in the next video.